Dealing with the class of 2011, GECK has implemented a senior project, which is a mandatory graduation requirement. So the senior project should be a culmination of the past three years of GECK student, and it should have the skills and abilities of somebody who's in college or even beyond, and it should be a student's best work. Uh, for those who don't know, if you don't pass senior project, you fail high school. You can have A's throughout all of GECK, but if you fail uh, senior project, you're, you can't graduate. This mandatory project will showcase Gekka's seniors' educational experience and showcase the skills and abilities expected of that of a successful post-secondary citizen. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm pretty good, Chris. How you up? What's good, up? Good. So, um, I have this, you know, thing about senior project, and I need a mentor, and I heard you took a one class in bio. I think you'd be the best mentor for me. Oh, yeah, dude, whatever. What did you say, <laughs> man? I took bio. I got a C, but, you know, it's all... I mean, I'm just like... It's like, all like, matters anyway. Like, what are <laughs> talking okay. about? I'm all right, gonna get a C. I got you. Hey, nice to meet you, Professor Reyes. My name is Aaron McClain. Uh, I'm pro I emailed you about senior project, and I was wondering if you could help me as a mentor. Yeah, I received that email. Um, you know, it's a good opportunity, and I would actually uh, be uh, very honored to uh, serve as your mentor. Well, I appreciate it, and so if you don't mind, I'll send you a few emails later following up about this. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Uh, do you have any requirements that you need? Yeah, if you could sign off on my hour paper, uh, I require 15 hours uh, minimum, but if, you know, I can work with your schedule. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You know, uh, just keep in touch. All right. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, it's your host, Andres Marilla, with the latest and greatest Miss Bruce. She is a GECK alumni and has gone through the senior project curriculum. She has been teaching it for the past two years. All right, for the first question, what is the most difficult thing about senior project? Um, the most difficult thing about senior project is keeping up with all of the due dates. There are so many due dates that can be overwhelming, but they're there to help you, um, not to hinder you. Um, and we've really created a curriculum which uh, is aimed at having students succeed um, as long as you get things in on time and do them to the requirements. So is there like an outline for when the, like the due dates? Yes, we change that every year based on breaks and different vacations, um, but you will receive uh, your outline of due dates with your syllabus on the first day of school. Right. So does the syllabus also outline what Senior Project did so it kind of gives them an idea? Yes, there's actually a handbook which is about 30 pages that changes every year just a little bit. Um, but overall it is uh, an outline of exactly what to expect and how to succeed with Senior Project. Do you finally find it personally satisfying when you fail a student? Not at all. I hate failing students, especially in Senior Project, because a failing grade in Semester 1 of Senior Project means that you cannot graduate from GECA. Uh, a failing grade in any element of senior project means that you cannot continue here with GECA. And I don't like that. Okay, so what's some advice that you would give to the incoming senior class? I would um, advise the incoming seniors to wait on senior project for the actual requirements and uh, deadlines and all of that because they change every year and there's really no way to know what to expect until you're in the course and so don't try to get ahead of yourself and do a whole bunch of work that then has to be redone. So let's say like they don't know what to do for a senior project, what advice would you give them like to do over the summer to get ready for it? I would suggest job shadowing if you know that maybe you're interested in a certain career, go to someone's office and say hey can I follow you around for the day, I'm a high school student, I'm interested in your career field, um, research different careers, um, talk to people who are in that career. Um, just search out your options and see what's available to you out there. And for like the mentor, does uh, do they have to find it themselves or will you like also provide some resources for you? I don't provide mentors, but I do have a curriculum and different tips and tricks for to help you find a mentor. But once again, don't go and find a mentor until you know exactly what it is you're looking for in a mentor. And the last question, is the, is the earth really flat? No. <laughs> You heard it here first. Thank you, Ms. Bruce, for the interview. Thank it's you. It's been a pleasure.